Good day, people of God, wonderful, wonderful people out there. I'm so happy, so thrilled to be presenting the Open Heavens Reflection based on the Open Heavens Devotional written by Pastor Ino Kadejari Adeboye to you again today. My name is Bomi Adekola and I'm a pastor in Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Deacord, Oxfordshire. Our topic today is touch not. It is a warning, a very strong warning God is giving out. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 30, the first eight verses. Now it happened when David and his men came to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag, attacked Ziklag and burned it with fire and are taking captive the women and those who were there from small to great. They did not kill anyone, but carried them away and went their way. So David and his men came to the city, and there it was, burned with fire, and their wives, their sons, and their daughters had been taken captive. My prayer is that you will not suffer loss for the rest of this year, in the name of Jesus. Then David and the people who were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to weep. If you will weep this year, it shall be tears of joy for you. It shall not be tears of sorrow in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And David's two wives, Ahinam the Jezreelites and Abigail, the widow of Nabal the Camelite, had been taken captive. Now David was greatly distressed. For the people sto spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and his daughters. You will not experience any grief for the rest of this year in the name of Jesus Christ. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Then David said to Abiathar the priest, Abimelech's son, Please bring the ephod here to me. And Abiathar brought the ephod to David. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail, recover all. And my prayer is that all of the blessings and the golden opportunities you had lost, you will recover all in this year. It shall be a year of full recovery for you in the name of Jesus. A memory verse is taken from 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 21 and 22. He permitted no man to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. And our reflections together now. God is a jealous God, and he protects his own vigorously. A memory verse says that God does not permit anyone to do his own people, especially his anointed ones, wrong. That is the reason we have to be careful about what we say or do to the people of God, and particularly to his anointed ones. Looking at the experience of David in the Bible passage that we read a moment ago, we could notice that out of frustration, because of what Saul did to David, David decided to join himself to the enemies of God's people to fight them. Hmm. May problems of life not push you to begin to form an alliance with your enemies in the name of Jesus. As a result of this step, he lost his defense. When you rise up and fight God's people, God will not just sit down and watch. He has not permitted anyone to do his people any wrong. His own family was captured and taken as prisoners of war. That is David's family. His own people suffered for his ill-conceived strategy of joining with the enemy to fight the people of God. I pray for you again. May problems of life not push you to begin to form accomplices with your enemies. When you fight other believers and you say undignified things about men of God, you are exposing yourself to danger. This is an important lesson to learn for today because the word of the Lord cannot change. What God says he will not permit remains the same. Stop fighting or going about saying derogatory things about the people of God. 
it is a very dangerous thing to do, which can really backfire. And our key point today to consider is that God strictly warns that his bona fide children must not be touched. Anyone who touches them will definitely pay dearly for it. The Lord will help us to be wise in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day. God bless you mightily. Bye for now.